Hi, my name is Tirupati and I am the trainer on uh, solution architecture and software architecture and design. In this video, I am going to talk about the session affinity quickly. Uh, this will be a conceptual introduction. So I am not going to talk about any particular uh, web server or any kind of uh, load balancing algorithm. Uh, so that anyone with any kind of technical background can understand this. Let's get started. So to talk about this affinity routing, let us consider this deployment structure as an example. So here you have the users, these are the user PCs, uh, each of which has a different IP address. Uh, in reality, there can be hundreds or thousands of such uh, PCs, okay, uh, all over the internet. So the requests come from here and through the internet, they reach the load balancer. And the load balancer routes the requests to the HTTP servers. So we have got three HTTP servers here. Now here, as long as uh, there is no relation between the requests originating from the same PC, this works. But what if, if a user creates some session or some information on one of the servers, and this user wants to access access that in the subsequent requests. Now the load balancer has to support that functionality. So remembering where the request came from previously and forwarding to the server where it has created some information is called the sticky session or uh, session affinity or affinity routing. Now let us take a look at how this affinity routing works. So here each of these user PCs send the requests to load balancer and each request will have a sequence of network packets. So each packet will have the IP address of the machine where the browser runs. The load balancer whenever it receives these IP packets it stores the IP address of the packet uh, the, the IP address of the machine where the packet is coming from and it also stores the corresponding HTTP server where the request is being forwarded. So here like um, uh, this IP address packet is forwarded to this server and uh, this one to this server and like this, so if the request comes again from the same machine, say 1232, two, and the load balancer forwards this request to the 9123, so this node, so that it avails the information of the session which is created in previous requests. This kind of uh, affinity routing works as long as the network packets carry the address of the user machines where the browser runs. But often the address is replaced by the ISP proxy servers, internet service providers. So here you see the, these are the IP addresses of the user machines who are using this internet service provider. So after this point, the network packets carry this address instead of your PC address. So as far as the load balancer is concerned, it thinks the requests are originated from this server. So the problem here is if the ISP provider is huge having thousands or hundreds of thousands of customers, all of those requests will have the same address. So the load balancer routes them to the same machine. So resulting in highly imbalanced load on the HTTP servers. So if you anticipate huge load from a big ISP providers, you need to prepare your servers to handle that load. In the previous slide, we have seen a problem of um, highly imbalanced load on servers because the ISP providers keep their proxy server address instead of the user PC address. Now there is another problem in this scenario. Often the big ISP providers have multiple proxy servers. So what happens in that case? 
So, a request is coming from say this PC is routed through this proxy server and reaches the load balancer. So, the load balancer keeps this address and maps the server to which the request is forwarded. And again after some time from the same PC another request comes. This time if it is routed through this proxy server. Now this is reached to load balancer. Now the load balancer maps it to another HTTP server or it routes to another HTTP server because the IP address of the originating machine is different. Though the request is originated from the same user who has sent another request previously. So, this way you cannot protect the session affinity here. To address these kind of problems, uh, we consider the cookie based routing or any other means of routing which keeps particular information about the users at the server site. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos at Skill4 Technologies.